Uh, I've put two ventures into Spark. The first one was uh, a venture to grow seaweed on a large scale in the open sea. And the second one was much more small scale. It was uh, about uh, supplementing vitamin D in, in people. Right, excellent. And so um, what uh, is your background in terms of like, how did you come up with the idea to, to farm seaweed? Uh, that's a long-held passion of mine. Uh, it's the reason I left work and came back to university to do a master's. And uh, uh, yeah, it's just something I'm very passionate about and want to, want to do as a real business. And what are the benefits of farming seaweed? What are the commercial uses for it? Well, seaweed has got a, a very wide range of uses. Uh, currently, commercially, it's used for a lot of things, uh, but they're limited by the amount of scale, the amount of, of supply that's available. If we can grow it in a large scale, then we can find a lot more uses for it. And what, what are some of the uses for seaweed? Oh, a lot of it's used in food production. Uh, it's used also as fertilizer. Um, and some seaweeds are also used for pharmaceuticals and uh, a wide variety of stuff, really. Excellent. And is there any other competition in New Zealand for, for what, what it is that you're doing in terms of seaweed production? Uh, yeah, there are people who harvest seaweed, wild-grown seaweed. I don't know of anybody who's farming seaweed. Um, we're kind of ahead of the curve in terms of legislation as well. It's, it's a difficult thing to, to do here. Um, so we've got a lot of work to do to get uh, a legislative environment sorted out that allows us to do it, but that's coming along. And we've got a lot of technical work as well to, to actually be able to do it practically. Right, so how long has the idea uh, been in development or, and how long have you actually had it out into, into production as well? Uh, it's not in production. No, it's not in production at all. We, we, um, I started working on it probably about four years ago. Um, we put it through the Spark Challenge two years ago and uh, got to the 100K stage with it. Um, since then we've actually done some work here in the engineering uh, department in the wave tanks, testing out uh, designs and coming up with better structures essentially to use. Fantastic, so you would fully recommend Spark as, a, as a, uh, an effective gateway for others with smart ideas and entrepreneurial ideas? Look, Spark is a really good way of learning how to take an idea and turn it into something more doable. Um, and, and working out what ideas are not doable along the way because a lot of ideas turn up that you think, oh, that'd be great, but in practice they, they are too hard to execute or they aren't profitable. Right, so what are your plans now for the future? What are you planning to, to, to achieve within the next sort of five, ten years? Grow seaweed, large scale, open sea. <laughs> Thanks, Graham. Thanks Thank you. <laughs>